Welcome back to BC Media, and on today's topic, you already know what we're doing. We're going to make a vlog, and we're going to do it the same way we did it last year around this time, going to Brian Head and snowboarding. And this time, I'm going to do it a little bit different because I want to record a little bit more and share a little bit more than I did last year. Last year, we just talked about my journey, you know, getting into real estate as a teenager. This one, I kind of want to make it more of a conversation between me and you guys, and you know, just share a lot of gems out there. So this is for all you entrepreneurs out there, all you young entrepreneurs looking to become an entrepreneur or just start your own business. I'm gonna drop a lot of gems in this video. So stick to the end with me. And I'm telling you, you're gonna be a new person. You're gonna be a new person by the end of this video. Now I'm just playing, but seriously guys, stick to the end of this video with me. And I promise you, I'll get your mind thinking by the end of this video. Right now guys, we're gonna just get our fares in order. I'm gonna pack up my stuff. I'm gonna throw it in the car. I'm gonna run a few errands. I'm gonna take you through this whole entire journey and we're going to talk a little bit and let's go ahead and get started all right All right, guys, we got the car packed up and now we're about to be headed out. First, we're gonna go to Home Depot and pick up this lock for my new unit. And then after that, we're gonna go pick up a shovel and a, and a drill. Then after that, we'll be on the road to Utah. So let's get it, guys. All right, guys, we're back and it's 10.23 p.m. I'm on the road to St. George. I wanted to record real quick. I don't want to record too much while I'm on the road. This is all along the topic of, you know, being a young entrepreneur, you know, getting in the game, what you need. The the person that you imagine yourself you want to be, that's exactly who you could be if you can just gain self-control. Gain self-control, gain, you know, the, all those impulses. Stop it. You know what I mean? Stop. I know it's so hard. I know it is. I, it's hard for me sometimes. Like, I bought a whole bunch of groceries this month. I ended up still going out to eat and getting something out to eat uh, during the month. And I told myself, I'm like, no, you don't need to be spending money. You know, it, it just, you don't need to. You have plenty of groceries at home. And my impulse got to me. So I still do it too, guys. But I'm just saying, if we can figure out a way to sit down with ourselves and gain some type of control over our minds to tell ourselves when we want to do something that we know we should not be doing to stop to, to just sit down to be delay gratification like that that mind that 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 has been circling around me all day delaying gratification delaying gratification and that's all a part of it delaying gratification self-control impulse controlling your impulses all that is all tied in one and if you can if you can that's the key right there that is the key to being a more successful more healthy more in every aspect of your life career relationship business that's exactly what we all need to think about i really wanted to get that out there because i've been thinking about it and i really want you guys to understand that when starting a career or starting any type of business, getting into the entrepreneurial mindset and lifestyle, it's going to be hard. So you have to learn self-control. If you guys listen to me and you follow what I just said and, and focus on that alone, becoming an entrepreneur will be a lot easier. Trading on the stock market will be a lot easier. Forex trading will be a lot easier. Learn self-control. I'm telling you that now. I got to clock out, man. I'm driving. <clears throat> All right, guys. So I made it here to Brian Head last night. Stayed at my mom's house um, to get a little sleep in. Then got up early this morning around like 6 o'clock so I can get ahead of the market a little bit. Uh, not too much, though. But just wanted to, you know, catch and see what my trades were doing in the after hours or, I guess, pre-market. Um, and then after that, I, you know, I got ready, packed the uh, car up with my stuff and 
popped in. Now I'm on my way to Brian Head. Um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about a little something I was thinking about this morning. And, you know, a lot of people don't want to get up in the morning, you know, and, and get ahead of their day. And I realized that about myself for the longest time. But I made that change to join the morning club. And what I mean by morning club, I mean 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. Wake up at one of those times. Get ahead of your day. Get some work done. Because I promise you, six months from now, a year from now, you'll be thanking me that you decided to make that, that change. And another thing that, you know, leading on the same into the same topic is self-regulation. A lot of us don't have self-regulation. We don't we don't want to change. We don't we just want to be stagnant and stable and comfortable. Do you think that it's comfortable to get up at 6 a.m. like I'm back in high school? Or 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. Like, like it sucks, you know what I mean? Sometimes, but you gotta be you gotta be consistent in order to get ahead. Because if you're not consistent, then you can't trick your mind. You can't trick your mind to to be like, all right, this is when I need to get up. This is when I want to get up. You know what I mean? And I'm comfortable with getting up at this time now. If you want to be stagnant somewhere, you want to be stable somewhere, be stable at the top, be stagnant at the top. Because this average mediocre bullshit that 99% of the people are doing isn't going to work out. So we need to we need to self-regulate ourselves. We need to get to the point where we see we're making this decision we need to be able to be like, okay, it's 8 a.m. What are we going to do about that? We woke up at 8 a.m. We were supposed to wake up at 6. Are we going to punish ourselves? Are we going to, what are we going to do to make sure that we can make this change? What are we going to constantly remind ourselves every single day in order to make that change, in order to be where we want to be? Six, from, six months from now, one year from now. Self-regulation is something I also really want to focus on with myself. And I want to bring you guys through this journey because I'm not, like I said before, I'm not perfect. But I'm trying. I'm achieving. I'm jumping these hurdles. And that's what everybody else needs to do. And not everybody can do this on a consistent basis and that's okay as long as you keep trying as long as you're not just staying still because even if out of say let's say it's a week right if you're trying three days out of that week two days out of that week it's going to add up over time that's all going to add to that collection that's all going to add to that subconscious And you're going to realize one day, six months from now, one year from now, that you're achieving. You have passed a goal. So I really want to talk about that, guys, before I head in here to Brian Head. Really want you guys to think about that. Think about what do you think about when you wake up in the morning? How do you feel when you wake up in the morning? Do you feel comfortable? It's 10 a.m. Do you feel comfortable that it's the afternoon? We're going to go ahead and head in here to Brian Head. I'll let you guys know we're about to enter the snow right here. Let you guys see a little bit of the scenery. We'll get back to this. All right. Let's get it. Alright guys, so we made it here to Brian Head. Right now I'm gonna get started getting ready, getting dressed in the car. 
um, for snowboarding and stuff like that. And then head on over here and pick up my ticket and get on my lift. So I'll see you guys there. And by the way, if my, I think my, so when I go snowboarding, I'm not like last year, I kept my audio, everything like set up to, to my phone and everything. This year, I'm not gonna do it. This year, I'm just gonna have my phone um, and that's it because I don't really wanna deal with the whole camera situation, like not camera situation. I don't wanna deal with the whole like microphone situation, it's so bulky. And plus I have to put this on it because it's gonna be windy. So I really don't wanna deal with that. So what I'm gonna do this year, I'm just gonna just use my phone. So if the audio switches up after this, it's because I took out my microphone. All right guys, so I just finished snowboarding a little bit and I'm about to head over to this uh, bigger trail, giant step. I was, I'm at Navajo Lounge right now. For those of you who know Brian Head, Brian Head Resort, nice, nice place. Only place I go snowboarding. I really like it here. It's my third year coming. Um, it's amazing here. It's definitely a low key vibe and I feel great. I'm, I'm, I went on this trip alone. Um, I mean, not necessarily like just one day alone. And then the next day I'm gonna meet up with my friends and you know that, that that's another thing you know that ties into the video you do shit alone you know what i mean when it comes to this being in business you it's like one of the loneliest jobs ever because at times you feel like you don't have moral support at times you feel like even your friends aren't supporting you but it's really not up to anybody else but you if you want to make things happen for you in the world of entrepreneurship in the world of business in your career you got to make things happen because if you sit around and try to pout and wish that you know somebody would come buy your service or come share your page or you know promote you or just like your videos and stuff like that you got to put in the work you have to put in the time in order to get to where you want to be and is and like my coach said back in high school not leave it up to the referee and what i mean by that is don't leave it up to everybody else you know what you got to do to make things happen so get it done you know how to snowboard giant steps where it's at that's the experience that's the major vibe that's where i'm headed right now and i'll take a few clips of that so you guys can see what it is and what it looks like just in case you ever feel like you want to come down here so let's go ahead and head over there i hope that you guys you know are really thinking about what i've been saying throughout this video so far and thank everybody i want to thank everybody who stayed with me to this moment um in the video and i hope that you know i'm really speaking to you especially those new entrepreneurs out there because a lot of people feel like they can get into this game and it's going to be easy they can get into this game and you know a month or two later you know they're already making it this is gonna take you years. I like to say three years, three to five years to get anything done. If you wanna be successful in something, three to five years, even a career, three to five years. It's three to five years of your life, buddy. Stick with it, whatever you do, stick with it. Because in the long run, you'll be thanking yourself and me because you watched this video. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and head over to Giant Step. Boom. Hey guys, we finally made it to the B&B after a long day of snowboarding. Now we're about to go to sleep, wake up and do it all over again. But I do wanna show you guys what the B&B looks like. So when we wake up in the morning, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Until then, I'm gonna head out. But also in the morning, I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about psychology. Um, but until then, I'm about to knock out. All right guys, so we're up this morning, ready to go, ready to snowboard. And I want to talk to you guys real quick about psychology and how it can really affect you in the world of entrepreneurship. And on this topic, I kind of want to dig deeper into like a certain subject, which is investing and investing in like stock market and stuff like that. I do take that as entrepreneurship. I do take that as, you know, being an owner of your own business because, you know, it's your money. You're investing it to make money back. That's a business. That's entrepreneurship. 
in my in my mind. So with that being said, I really want people to understand, and I really I, I've been thinking about this all last night. I've been thinking about this all last night because a lot of people are starting to invest, right? Number one on the app store, Robinhood. And that's been over the past week because of GME, because of AMC, because of BlackBerry, etc. What people are understanding is that you don't follow what the next person says just because they've been investing for a while. If they aren't teaching you something without you paying for it, then you shouldn't really be listening to them. If they're just trying to say, hey, bro, jump in this stock. Everybody's jumping in. It's going up. I'm telling you, it's going to hit. And without doing your own research, it's going to affect you big time. It's going to affect you big time. You're going to lose money. You're going to get discouraged. And you're going to stop investing. And then you're going to try it again later. You're going to make the same mistake. And then you're going to stop investing. And then you're going to tell everybody that, hey, investing isn't good. Investing is a scam. It's unpredictable. It's a gamble, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I don't want this rant to be too long, but it really annoyed me last night that the fact that everybody isn't using their own psychology but getting their psychology switched up by other people you know what i mean and that's what you need to focus on entirely before you get into real estate get into entrepreneurship get into you know your own career etc you need to focus on psychology and if you don't know what that word means if you don't know what conscientious means def go look it up go look up the definite actually i'll put it right here i'll put i'll put it right here so that you know what the, because I know you guys won't go look it up. I'll put it right here so you guys can see what the definition means. And just read it. Just read it. Take a moment, pause the video, and read it. Because a lot of people don't have a conscientious brain. And if you think you do, but you make some mistakes, that means you'll probably have a low conscientious brain and there's side effects to that. So, like I said before, focus on your psychology, guys. Because if you let everybody else convince you of buying a stock or investing in this, investing in that without doing your own research, you're, you're asking for trouble. You're asking for trouble. So I'm about to head out, guys. I can't talk any longer. I got to check out my B&B. But first, I want to show you guys what it looks like. So let's check it out. All right, guys, so I pulled over on the side, catch a five, you know what I mean? And chill out for a little bit, get dressed, so I just didn't have to like get dressed next to any cars or anything like that. Stop real quick, you know what I mean? <laughs> Head back up to Brian here right now. Oh yeah, it's definitely sewn up there for sure. All right, guys, let's go check it out. All right, guys, so we're done snowboarding. My ears, <laughs> I can barely hear right now. But I think it's from the the climate. Uh, I think it's from the level change. You know what I mean? Pin trade. <laughs> Duh, but um, I'm done snowboarding for today, and I'm about to eat some food right now. And then after that, I'm gonna go meet up with the boys. The boys. And then after that, I'm finna go um, probably night snowboarding. <laughs> so right now I'm gonna get some food. I'll show you what I get. 
and then we'll head to the boys. All right, guys, let's go. I'm out here with the boys. I'm with the boys. <laughs> yeah. We're about to get on the lift right now, up to Giant Step. So I didn't record this morning when I woke up because I was so busy getting ready and trying to get here on time so we didn't get here late. Um, so after that, and I'm gonna record a little bit later when we start to eat and everything. And I'll see you then. I'll take a few shots of what we do today and let you guys see that. So just stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys later, all right? Hey everyone, so we're on our way back to Vegas now. The trip is over. I'm so grateful for this trip. It really helped me a lot to unwind my mind and to get back on track, especially for the next week. You know how it is being an entrepreneur. If you are an entrepreneur or business owner that's watching this video, you know how it is. It's stressful, it's a grind, and it's great to take time out of your day or out of your week to you know, go have fun, to get some stress off your shoulders, to you know, be a better person, to talk to yourself and change some of the bad qualities that you may have. And that's really what I want to talk about in this last topic of, you know, the video before I head out. And I really want people to think about what they could be doing instead of, you know, being aggressive or angry towards other people. What can they be doing to relieve that stress? Maybe take a trip, a day trip, maybe take a few hour trip. Maybe, you know, if there's something in the city that you can go view or look at. I really believe that if you dig deep into your mind on a solo trip or on a on a solo vibe that you can fix something at least one thing about yourself in that one moment of just being open with yourself having a little bit of self-care can go a long way so thank you i, I want to thank everybody who watched this video to the end everybody who you know is staying subscribed to me everybody who will subscribe to me in the future i really thank all you guys for you know the support and see you on the next video